call this special meeting to order. Um, so the reading reason for the meeting is discussion regarding Chatham Health District. Um, I just came from a board meeting today and there's been discussion going on. So Thad King has resigned as the director of Chatham Health. Uh, Don Mitchell has been named in his place as acting director. Um, there has been, I guess this has been an ongoing issue um, since May. So the Department of Health has actually come in and when it comes to districts, not to towns, said that a public uh, director of public health in a district needs to spend their entire time in that position so they're not allowed to do anything else and they found there to be an issue there so if anyone serves in that capacity they use the example of even if they're a little league coach volunteering for a baseball game or right now Don is teaching a class at Southern he's going to have to have permission that individual cannot hold the position of the director. So there's different rules and different regulations that the state of Connecticut is using for districts that don't necessarily apply to municipalities. So I have a concern with that. The other concern is that I got an email on Thursday and I guess that East Hampton has been in charge of paying bills, um, processing payroll, and applying for grants. And East Hampton is no longer going to be processing payroll. That's something that's going to have to be held at the district themselves. And also the grant piece and the bill, bank, bill paying piece need to be handed over to the district on June 30th. When monies are not coming in, which is what started this, so DPH is holding the per capita funds from Chatham Health and has not released them and would not release them until this resignation or retirement took place. They're saying that they're gonna release half the funds to the district in the next couple of weeks now that this has been taken care of. And the other half will come, will follow in the near future. Since East Hampton has been paying the bills, when Chatham Health does not have the funds to sustain itself, East Hampton has been forwarding, has nothing to do with their portion of what they pay in, the monies in order to keep Chatham Health afloat. So on Thursday, East Hampton took $138,000 out of the Chatham Health funding, which is their money, because they've been playing the bank mm -hmm. for a long time, and took the money out and left $10,000 available. That is not enough money to pay payroll or anything else. So all of the districts are being asked to pay their quarterly bill early in order to keep things afloat. So there's been issues with management. There's been issues I've had complaints from residents for service. And looking at other options, we're paying around 70000 70, I believe, $800 around that dollar amount for Chatham Health right now. So we have been working. Liz has been helping me. And we researched some alternatives of things we can do. The days of having a doctor in place, you can't do that. You need to have someone who has a master's degree in public health, and you need to have a sanitarian. So some individuals hold both of those, and some of them don't. I don't believe that we have the need for a full-time person in this position, and Killingworth is open to having conversation with us to share their person. They have a new sanitarian in place that holds a master's in public health. How do you say, what town is that? Killingworth. Killingworth. Um, and we've had conversations with them. Now, by bringing it to a town meeting, and the reason that we're doing this is their deadline to be able to do that is December 31st. We have to give notice. We have until we would stay with them until June 30th. So if we don't do anything at all, then we would be committed to staying there another 18 months. Yeah. So the purpose of the town meeting, what I'd like to do is go to the town and see what the townspeople feel we should do. I feel that we can offer better services at a lower amount of money. So I'm not looking to cut services. I'm looking to increase the level of service. And we have the right that if we decide not to do this, we can go back to the district. So it will give us some more time. You know, hopefully this agreement will work out with Killingworth. 
I don't want to rush into anything, but I'd like to at least have the opportunity to have the discussion. Is Kenworth part of Chatham Health? No, they're not. They're completely on their own. And if you're not part of a health district, right. you do not have to comply with those rules of entire time that I told you existed um, for the public health director. So it's almost like they have two sets of rules. And I think what the state, it's very unfortunate that they are, you know, they're trying to make Chatham Health an example or a model, even to the point where the employment agreement for the new health director, they need to approve it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're taking the control out of the district. Um, it, you know, I just have been constantly getting complaints about Chatham Health. And it's one thing if the rules are being applied and somebody doesn't like the way the rules are being applied, I'm not looking to bend the rules and want to follow the rules. But I think being a little bit more um, consistent, you get three different answers from three different people or response time. And actually just having more physical presence in the town hall would be great. I mean, they are on the road. Um, there has been some issues of someone being here between one and four hours. I think we need to be consistent as to the timing of that. I've been told that's been corrected recently, but that's been an ongoing issue. So, um, you know, I'm hopeful that they'll turn it around, but I'm also fearful that if things don't correct itself, it's going to cost us more money down the road. In addition to that, there's going to be some payout amounts that are going to have to be made that are not in the budget to satisfy this change in leadership. So um, they're going to need to bump up some increases, and there's some benefits that need to be paid out that haven't been budgeted for. So I'm just worried, again, that it's going to cost us more down the road. But do you have any specific numbers? Like what, what, like Chatham Health does, it, 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 the state can be dangerous. Okay, So Chatham Health it works with the state. And the state can change laws, change rules, mm -hmm. can tell you what you need to do. Mm -hmm. We don't know what the state's going to imply, uh, impose tomorrow. Right. And we don't know. So when you take it on your own, mm -hmm. not collectively as a group, right. and then they impose something right. upon us, you have to do it. And Correct. so to say it'll definitely save us money, we don't know. No. no we don't know. We don't know. And, and here's the other thing, that there's always complaints. It, it, you know, there, no matter what, what happens, there's always complaints. So, but unless we have another alternative, what I'm concerned about, you set up a town meeting and everyone's going to come in with a pitch mm -hmm. I hate Chatham out because they didn't show up. I had a meeting at 1 o'clock and the guy didn't show up till 2. I, I, I needed to get this and he didn't show up till next. You're going to get, all you're going to hear is complaints mm -hmm. because any, no one, no one's going who doesn't know anything about this who is going to show up. Mm -hmm. so you're, you're just going to get the pitchforks. Mm -hmm. They're going to come. And the, the problem with that is is those people are not going to come with a solution. Right. They're just going to say, I, I don't like Chatham Health. Right. Get rid of Chatham Health. We need to come to a solution. And I so agree we just with you. throw it out there. You know what's going to happen. Well, I, you don't know what's going to happen. I can anticipate what's going to happen is all the people who don't like Chatham Health yeah. are going to show up and say, get rid of Chatham Health. And then we'll be here. Scram. No, but and, well, it'll buy us six months because what even if we say, Sean, that we went out of Chatham Health by December 31st, we have until June 30th to come up with a solution. And if we can't, then we go back to the so we go town back to voted, the district. town voted not to do it. How we'd go back to another town? town meeting and and then how we'd have to get it approved by the town. Yeah, but so, it, and again, we'd have to get people there uh, to do that. And, and the other thing is, is and I, and I know the. The contractors are part of the people that deal with Chat and Help, and I know a lot of them, and I've spoken about that. And one of the things when when the issue with Fern came up, one of the major issues that every contractor who came in here said, we do not want to share services with Killingworth. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do that because the towns are too big, the towns are too far apart. There's no way anyone could possibly get back and forth. It's a 45 to an hour drive if you go from one to the other. And so I'd like to hear from the contractors, anyone who, on that issue as well, because I know they were adamant about doing anything in conjunction with Killingworth when it had to do with firm. Mm -hmm. well, so we're shared now, now, but we're shared now, and I almost feel like all those other towns, because you have, they're all on that side of the river, yeah. and we're over here. I understand. So I understand. I'm thinking that in theory, of Killingworth being closer, it would just make it easier. But we're only sharing one person, right? What are we sharing? Well, that's a really good question. So they've been down a person. So there's two and a half 
um, sanitariums, they need to hire a third and there's still... Killingworth's going to have three? No, 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 no. I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. You were talking about Chatham yeah, What does Killingworth have? Killingworth has one full-time person. Right. So well, one part... I'm sorry. They have one part-time person. So we'd be sharing one part-time person? Yes. Or we make that person full? Well, I think it's just an option. I mean... You know? I'm going to ask you. Yeah, just... Are you look at it. <laughs> I mean... Um, right now, the... Uh, the... <coughs> The health director in Killingworth works 19 hours a week. Mm -hmm. um, so I think if we are to share with Killingworth, or any other town for that matter, that the idea would be it would be a 35 hour week split between two towns, which, if you do the math, in my opinion, is better than two and a half people split by seven towns, which is what we're dealing with now. Mm -hmm. And the the DPH is working off of, um, and again, legislation can sh pass bills and do whatever they want to do. But right. and I know that at at, at any whim, you, right. I know that, Absolutely. and you know, we yeah. both know Absolutely. that. But they're following what's existing now for legislation for that. And I guess the previous uh, commissioner of DPH felt that regionalizing was a good thing, and this current commissioner does not necessarily feel that way. And I know that depending upon whatever administration comes along. It could be on whatever whim that they have that we have to follow, and I know that we have to follow it. Right. Um, but I'm really concerned about the level of service and, you know, them just being able, and again, I know they do have control at the end of the day, but I'm concerned about what we're paying for the level of service. And all the other towns at the end of the meeting that I was at today, you know, so they've have said most of them that they're going to stay and they want to see what happens and I hope again they're successful. I'm just looking to borrow, get some time. I've done some research to get my ducks in a row to find somebody at an affordable price and we can institute that and see how it goes. And if there's an issue, I'm sorry, no, that's okay. Does this person who's doing 19 hours is going to work full time? I spoke they're, with them and they said they're willing to have the conversation. They're open to the conversation. Yeah. Okay. Because the math, because the math, it, it, what what I'm what I'm not seeing in the math is that if if sharing if if seven using two and a half people, right, paying for two and a half people, and then two sharing one, I don't see how that could possibly be less. Well, we're paying <laughs> seventy eight. Right. I, I just don't see how that could possibly be because that's not all they do. The Chatham Health does there's a lot of other services right, they too. Right. I know. And they're going to be able to do all of that. At the same, is that guy do that person do all the services that Chatham Health provides? We would have to and contract for food service, which would be between five and six thousand dollars, so and like, then yeah. he would handle. That's, all, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Got and then there'd be cost. other things. Yeah. I don't know how involved he gets, for example, with um, cancer prevention or the right. the yeah. flu um, clinics or things of that nature. Um, I guess the other part of the equation is that. The Chatham Health District now also recoups their fees, so they, part of their revenue is their fees for mm -hmm. service. Right. So if we had our own um, director of health here, we would have our own fees and fee structure, and we would be right. retaining it. So that would be part of our revenue. Yeah, the position of that, admittedly, I'm not saying I know every single thing Chatham Health does. I just I'm doing it. Just doesn't. I, I know economies of scale of regionalizing when we did it in the beginning, mm -hmm. there was an enormous savings for us. Mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't even close, mm -hmm. enormous savings. And I don't know the numbers, but now mm -hmm. I'm saying, okay, now it's going to be a savings to go back out. I, I'm not saying it's wrong. Right. I don't know. Right. You know, and, and but my concern is that there's a lot of things that Chatham Health does that this person, you know, food services one or this person doesn't do. And we're going to have to figure out a way to do that. Mm -hmm. I did speak be on our own to DPH that. about right. that yesterday, and they said that they would assist me any way that right. I needed to get the paperwork right. in order. But again, I, I mean, I want time to figure those things out. Well, so do I. Rush that, that, yeah. into a solution in two weeks. Right. But unfortunately, the deadline to make a decision, if we're going to have an intent to leave, has to be right. done by December 31st. And I and I I just see it different. I just see that. I like time to figure it out too, mm -hmm. but I don't. If if we have a vote, my anticipation mm -hmm. is that people who want to get rid of Chatham Health are mm -hmm. going to come, mm -hmm. and they're going to vote us out of Chatham Health. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to have six months to do it, figure it out on our own. Mm -hmm. And if we can't, mm -hmm. we're out. We're out of Chatham Health. We can't just unilaterally determine to go back to Chatham Health after the town voted us out. 
So there's two resolutions to that. We could join another town, we could join another district, and we could have another town meeting to go back to Chatham Health. And by then, if changes have been made for improvement, that might be what we need to do. But I'm not convinced that six months is enough time for them to get their act together. Yeah, I'm just nervous six months is enough for us to get I agree with you. No, 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 I understand <laughs> yeah. that. But that's why I've done the legwork now. But I don't think it makes sense to rush into an agreement. I think we still need to figure it out. So the question becomes, six months of a commitment or 18 months of a commitment? And, and after... Mm -hmm. 18 months would be left. No, no. You agree, if you recommit, you can't do anything else. Till next 18. 18. Yeah. yeah. After that. Okay. 18 after June. Right. Right. So after 24 June. months. Yeah. No. No. 18 after now. 18 after now. So oh. just one year oh. starting June? June to June? If you were called yeah. for one. Yeah. We'll call so, for one year. We're getting calendar years month. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. we vote in December. Yep. Yeah. Twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. We have to stay till June twenty sixteen. Right. Yeah. And then in June twenty sixteen, or I'm sorry, by December twenty sixteen, we'd have to decide to stay till June of twenty seventeen. So it would be eighteen months from now. Well, January. Mm -hmm. I really, you know, again, this might be common practice, but you know. It, it's been how it, that had been the director for 13 years. Right. I think that <clears throat> changes probably should have been made prior, but um, East Hampton is not willing to be the bank anymore. They made that very clear. Well, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. No, and that, nor should they be. And I get it. And if it was Haddam, it would be the same thing. You said that the DPH is holding money? Yes. If that money goes back <clears throat> to the district, is that going to make them? It'll better? help. It'll, they're thinking that it'll help with their where they're short now with their commitments and payroll and then I guess the fees that are going to kick in that they're going to be getting their permit fees like Liz said they get to collect. And because it's been a mild winter so far, they've been a little bit busier than they had been. But they, they're only going to get half from the state. Right now. Right now. When do they get the other half? Well, I get it before the end of the fiscal Once year. Once they name, um, I think they have to approve <coughs> who they name. And I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you, if they have to find a permanent person or not. It might just be um, one was based on resignation and the other piece um, when there's a leadership <coughs> in place, which we did. Today we voted on an interim director for 60 days. But the problem mm -hmm. is, is that director teaches a class at Southern Connecticut. So it becomes in question. They're, they're not going to approve that person as long as he continues to teach a class, which I think is very silly for the record. Mm -hmm. But... It is how it, it is what it is. But if we go to a town meeting and the town meeting votes to take us out mm -hmm. because and insurance. Yeah. And we work on this yeah. in long about April. I think April. April time frame. Mm -hmm. We've got to decide one way or the other because mm -hmm. the month of May is a mess anyways mm -hmm. because of the budget, budget. I agree with you. and all that stuff. So you can't really count right. uh, May and. I agree with you. <coughs> But now, <coughs> if we vote out and we find out in April, okay, if we go back $75,000, $80,000, but if we do it ourselves, it's $125,000. Mm -hmm. Isn't that reason enough to try to get the people to rescind their vote of December? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be good, but I would think the people that are going to come out, they're not going to... But Care we also have fees. to ask, I mean, okay. are they angry the though? But are they right, right, right. are they angry because they didn't get their way? Or are they angry? I think they're I think that it's a combination. I think that they're not being treated. They're I think that if there's a problem, they're not necessarily getting the answer of what they need to fix it. And there's just been a poor communication that's gone. Sure. I mean, I'm sure there's you know? no, I'm not defending Chen up. No. I'm just I, I saying, know, no, no, yeah, I know you're not. It's just that this particular item is not like a, a, a townwide a, a town issue. It's not something like the school system. You know, not everybody even thinks about this. There's only mm -hmm. a very, very small select few people who even know Chatham Health exists mm -hmm. and deals with them. And they're going to be the ones voting. And I'm just saying, you, you, those particular people will probably wouldn't care, you know, if, if it goes from 75 to 125 because they'll get the better service. They're going to they're care about the service they get. 
not necessarily the tax dollars. But what can we do? I, mean, I really just want to do what's best for the town. Yeah, exactly. and, and, that, and I'm concerned, and that's why I held yeah. a meeting. And I think it needs to be, I think we have to have a discussion. I think yeah. we, the three of us need to have a discussion, and mm -hmm. I think that the town needs to be aware of what's going on. I don't think that it's something, you right. know. I agree with that. Agree. Are there any penalty fees imposed on us to withdraw from Chatham? No. As long as we give notice by December yeah, 31st. I understand that, but there's no all yes. of a sudden. No. You know, you got to pay $5,000 for something. I even like looked to see if there was a contract that was updated from the contracts that are available, and I, there isn't one. So, there's no grant money needs to go back. There's nothing. There's no, That's no, I've looked at all of that. There's, there's no recourse on their part. It's really, we would then be in charge of doing what we needed to do for us. So... So our choice is to go to a town meeting or not to go to a town meeting. Correct. And that is why I call the special meeting because I'd like mm -hmm. to be able to do it. A lot of people travel the week between Christmas and New Year's. I didn't want to have it then because people might be out of town. I don't want to be having it on Christmas Eve. Right. I don't think you guys want that either. So I wanted to try. I was afraid if I, I waited. No, Bob might Bob, not. Bob would just tell you he's uh, If I <laughs> could be assured that the paper would get it in in time for notice, this definitely could have waited for the meeting tomorrow night. But I don't want to be cut short on that. So, and again, I wanted to try to get the information out, and we can do that. But I pretty much wanted to see if we could agree to go to a town meeting next Wednesday. There's two other topics that need to be discussed, and we'll talk about that tomorrow night at the Board of Selectmen meeting. Um, and I figured let's just do it all in one shot and, and see what the people in town want to do. I just, I think it's important to be brought to their attention. Okay. All right. So you're voting for a town meeting? All right. So you're asking me to make a motion to hold a town meeting to discuss withdrawing from Chatham Health. Okay. And I think it's part of the discussion yeah, yeah. of just uh, make sure we try to get as much information as possible. Yeah. And I personally need to be educated as well yeah. as to exactly yeah. everything that Chatham Health Chatham Health does, and if there will be any shortfalls, mm -hmm. like food service or whatever else is shortfalls, we may, may be overlooked. I have also requested... We've got to know, what, what are they doing for us? Exactly. I mean, we, we understand the big things, the sanitary, right. 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 and the wells, and, and yep. the water, and all this, and that. We've got to know almost yep. everything. And I requested that today. I had requested that, and then I also requested, you know, how... Um, it was told to me that we're getting services that maybe you know more in certain areas than other towns. So I want to, I want to be educated. I sure. want to know what that breakdown is. Understood. So, but again, just seeing all the changes that have developed, and um, you know, I'm hoping again they can turn around. But morale has been very poor. Um, they're they're very backlogged. They're they're not caught up to where they need to be. And again, if we can come up with a solution where we have better services, we have more control, and we're not spending as much money, I think it's a win-win for Adam. And, and that I would to, be. And, yeah. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I have to look at yeah. that. And I mean, and that's the driving force, yeah. is what's in the best interest of the town of Adam. So. Okay. All right. So, so. What the, what's the motion again? I'm sorry. The motion is to go to a town meeting to withdraw, oh, no, to, yeah, the motion is to go to a town meeting to have permission to withdraw from Chatham Health District by December 31st. And that would be a vote. And that would be a vote. So I make that motion. Any other discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. And I will keep you as informed. I mean, I'm happy to, because this is a big decision. Yeah. Yes. This is, a, this is important. There's a lot of money involved. Mm -hmm. I was here when we went into it. Mm -hmm. And I know why we went into mm -hmm. it. And this is not a trivial thing. No, no, and I'm not taking it lightly. But I'm I'm more fearful of the unexpected and especially after I got asked, you know, I we needed to put money in to help cover payroll. Mm -hmm. That was a concern. Sure. Because if it does blow up then we're going to be in trouble, and I need a backup plan. And don't think every other town isn't looking for a backup plan either. So I just want to be smart about it. All right. Yes. All right. All right. Motion. Uh, okay. Four twenty-five.
Thank you. Look this